and into Steamboat Springs, Colorado, I came. For me, my the same, life is like a video game. There are many key tools in life and in games. Say you're in a battlefield and you've run out of first-hand ammo. You switch to your second weapon. You can't snipe, so you run really close, but when you get too close, you have to use your melee to hit. Your health bar is down a lot and you need to hide while you regain your strength and rethink your plan. When you get out, you finally defeat the enemy and you get an upgrade. This will all make sense in a bit. I was introduced into the world of gaming at a pretty young age, but it wasn't till later that I truly started to game. It was a hot September day and I had convinced Miles and Marjorie to go to my house instead of waiting for their parents to come pick them up. I didn't know what I was going to do with them, so I brought them down to the magical basement. This is where I hung out various days after school and created the and we created the zombie game. We turned on the Xbox and started to play Halo Reach. In this game, we would be able to make our bases, drive or fly various vehicles, and play games like King of the Hill. While we played, we sat there and gossiped about everyone. This is also where tears were shed and laughs shared. After that, I kept playing different video games. Then, for my birthday, my parents got me Destiny. I am in love with Halo, Minecraft, Destiny, and Zumba. I love <laughs> to play video games, and I am Let's Eat Pie 1001. First, you've got your health bar. This tells you if you're running out of strength or are getting ready to die. When this bar goes down, you need to rethink your plan. My parents, oh wait. <laughs> my parents are my health bar. Um, they help because they help me um, say things like, I said no and no means no, or don't forget your helmet. I have two of the best parents in the world because they make a good team. You have my dad, a good cop, and my mom, bad cop sometimes. <laughs> Which means I have just the right amount of discipline and fun. First, you have my dad, Jim, who will give in to just about anything and everything. <laughs> I remember whenever we used to go to Disney World, my dad would go on the little kid rides with me, and he would put his hands up, even if the magic carpet was going about five miles per hour. <laughs> then you have my mom, who would have me sleep in the bathtub, which she created a really nice, like, nest with towels and pillows, <laughs> which, <laughs> just so I wouldn't keep the house up, I was having a tantrum, which I actually had tantrums on purpose because I like to sleep in the bathtub. <laughs> Another time was when my dad was burning the compost and we had a visit from the fireman. So my mom and I hid in the closet with my dog Bob until they left. <laughs> my parents keep me on track and they are so very helpful. I may not say it all the time, but you guys are super cool. All in all, my parents are the best health bar. Then you have your melee, which is used in close contact or when you're out of bullets to shoot. This would be my siblings, because, because when a situation gets tough, I always have them to protect me. I have one brother and two sisters. My brother David is a tough guy. He is a guy who's always in the sea hole kayaking with his long blonde hair. <laughs> he has taught me that even if it hurts, never show it in the battlefield. Then you have my older sister, Abby. She is the smart one of the bunch. You could say that being a pre-med student is hard, but she makes it look like cake. I cherish the memories of her and me in the same changing room, although she didn't want to, critiquing each other's clothes. Last but not least, you have my oldest sister, Katie. She is definitely the muscles. She always has a marathon to train for. I will never forget how she silently picked on me and smiled. But I love her so much, I sometimes get her back. I have the most powerful melee in the game. Then you have your secondary weapon, which normally comes in handy when you need a backup. This most certainly is my friends. Um, I have made four, 
to a six in particular this past year, and they are my squad. Firstly, you have Marjorie. She may look innocent, but she most certainly is not to be messed with. <laughs> I will never forget our Snapchats, where we make creepy faces and tell each other we are getting out of town. Of course, Miles. He is always the center of attention, which I'm sure will make him a great actor someday. Miles, keep your Xbox because I'm not sure how I will survive without telling you how bad my day was over the headset as we saved the world. Then we have Gabe. He is so weird. <laughs> I remember the day he came to visit the school, he was wearing a hat and sunglasses, trying to blend in, but in truth, he is so outgoing and funny. Then you have Delaney. She is really quiet and scary. But once she gets to know you, she opens up. I will miss her frequent gravity tests. Last but not least, Piper and Aaliyah. I put them together because they are a team. This year, Piper and Aaliyah have made school all the better by hanging out with me when I was in intermediate class for strings. I don't know ever I don't ever want to not see my crew in the mornings and whine about how horrible our mornings were. Thank you so much for being my secondary weapon. Then you have your teammates. I don't have any pictures. <laughs> These guys are with you every step of the way and always have your back. This would have to be my teachers. Cindy, I will miss how enthusiastic about math you are and how you are always willing to help a struggling student. Luann, I will miss how you are always asking me how I'm doing and cheering me on. Carrie, I will miss how much you love art and how you can't watch it being thrown away. Mary Ann, I will miss how much you care more about if the instrument gets hurt than the student. <laughs> <laughs> but, instruments, but instruments don't have immune systems, so there. <laughs> Beth, I love how much you love kids equally. <laughs> so much about what we are saying as long as it's in Spanish. <laughs> um, Dave, thank you for always cracking a joke and having a hard time being mean. Mary, thank you for always reminding me that um, to say thank you. Debbie, you are the best when it comes to Jimmy John's and printing. <laughs> Thank you for being the upgrade to 
not just me, but our whole family. <laughs> this isn't something you would normally think of, enemies. What would a video game be without them? It would be horrible. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to level up, and you would carry around these weapons for no reason. I have had many enemies, and in many ways, they have helped me to level up in the real world. You can never truly get anywhere without having a rough patch, rough patches. Thank you, whoever you are, for teaching me that mo and mo molding me. Someday, I want to be a hero just like in these video games. I want to make a difference. I think that this tool belt, with this tool belt, I could take any on any video game or challenge in life. I think that no matter what I conquer, whatever life throws at me, for the most for most people, life is something that must be perfect. But for me, I want surprises, and I want to be thrown into the unknown. I'm going to end with one of my favorite quotes about video games. <laughs> it's a game of life. Do I win or do I lose? One day, they're going to shut the game down. I have, I've got to go around the board as many times as possible before they, it's my turn to leave. Yeah.